Okay, if I leave, will I ever see you again? Probably not. Okay, cool, bye. Bird. Oh, thank God. It's not hurt. Yay. It looked like it was hurt. It had its head on at a weird angle, I feel like. All right. So we're now attempting again to go up here. Before it was the white, painful sands of death, but now we have like more shoes on. Uh, and that should be helpful. And uh, we are not going to make loose for walk on it because nope. Oh my god. <laughs> Hot sands of death. Hot sands of death. <gasps> what? Okay, so that's worth it. on the other side of this and it is but it's not like hang out on the beach oh my god he's all the way down there okay me too That is Tamales, right across the bay there. We're about to go check out some crazy looking sand that maybe will avalanche upon us, but hopefully not. Maybe we will get back to it. So we're out next to a really, really, really story dune. And I want to grab Kat's kayak and then like ride down it. Really fun. Are you going to flip over? Probably. Are you going to eat sand? Are you going to break any bones? Uh, nah. Nah. I'm not going to break any bones. Okay. So say it to Chris. Lucifer. Hi. Come here. Come here. You dick. Hey. Lucifer. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Alright. I want to go to the weird um, lake. Not lake. Lake, not lake. Going to the lake, not lake. All right, here's my lake, not lake. And who do I find in the middle of my lake, not lake? That's my Luna. Yes, Luna. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what do we find, show me? Oh, nice. 
we, uh, I was like, why does this have a tide and no entrance? But apparently the water comes over here at some point. And yeah, I mean, it's, I guess I should have known. Also, I have leggings on. type of water, huh? When it's high tide, I really want to come back here. Yeah. Because, um, like I said, I really love collecting uh, sand Shells. Crabs. No, sand crabs. Sand crabs, that's right. stuff and there's some more campsites. I'm gonna go find mine. I just climbed up some dunes probably some baby dunes. I'm tired. But uh, the reward, the reward is fabulous here in Tamales at Lawson's Landing. I'm here at Lawson's Landing in Tamales and uh, this is the view right over from my campsite. And that is my husband and my dog they're waiting on me, so I'm, I'm gonna head down. What is, is this really a crab? Lucifer, no, don't eat it. Lucifer, ah! Okay, right? Lucifer, we teach you things. This is what travel does. Woo ah, that's crazy. What? Interesting. Very cool. There you go. Hey, Barry. Right. Now he's in heaven. Yep. <laughs> Dude, FIFA, call me. My dog has got the skills with a Z. Wander knot tip number 476.3. Do you want 
you are going over the hill, not through the woods, but to the ocean, over the dunes, you need to make sure that you have the appropriate footwear, as these dunes right here are real hot. Real, real hot. And then you get down to the beach and everything's super chill and cold and beautiful. So uh, wear appropriate foot gear over the dunes. Hopefully something you can carry around with you for the rest of the time. I, on the other hand, am wearing my daughter's shoes. They're a little big on me. But I think it's worth it. In a sec, I'm getting some footage. You look so sad. Okay, fine. I'll fucking help you. Jeez. <laughs> what do I have to do? Okay. And or like a string broke or something. I preferred the first. That's when I said we that yeah, I knew. So a knot is not good enough. Yeah, no, you can. And then I can walk to you. Just step on your Yeah. Alright, take two. Woo! Okay. Here we go. We're good? Alright, let's do it. Flying. Ooh, I like the... Another kite has joined our kite. Don't worry, ours is bigger. That's important. I'm gonna go walk down the beach. Because while kites are fun, I have to get my steps in. Yep, I'm becoming one of those people. <sighs> one nice thing about this area is that the camping grounds kind of basically have their own private beach because no one really walks down this way. While a little farther down this way, uh, not much farther. You'll find a lot more people, um, which if that's what you want, not far away. And we accidentally found some teenagers that we know. So he just ruined everything. How you guys doing? Good. Having fun? Yeah. yeah. We're drawing. We're drawing. Drawing? Oh, cool. Lovely. Awesome. All right, I'm going to keep walking. See ya! Bye! Bye, bye. What? There was a seagull. Oh. They were throwing things at him to me. Oh. Oh. That's why you've done this to the beach? Well, we're gonna eat. I mean, I, I mean, he's gonna eat him. Why would a seagull eat that? It's not a goat. Here we have the little inlet, is what I'm gonna call it. I don't actually know words. Apparently, but uh, I'm gonna walk around this to get to the actual bay area where, uh, let's say, paddleboarding and kayaking, etc., is more common. Yes, husband. I'm currently on somewhat of a peninsula. We got the ocean laughing here all the way up to and around this area and then I can already see the blue on the other side. Yay, that's 
Let's do this. Also, a place for me to sit. What? Thank you, nature. Hey there, babies. I like it. Hi. What is it? Let's go find out. Is it warm? Is that why we're not over here very long? Oh, it is hot, huh? All right, let's do this quickly. Here, come to me. I'll show you where to go. See, stand on that. Yes, mommy too. Okay. So I found a wooden, I'm gonna call it a wooden sculpture. It has been created by the likes of man, one would assume. I like it because it feels very cast away and I like to like pretend that I am on a desert island. Lucifer, come back, come here. Okay, go ahead, come on. We'll go, go, come on. Let's go this way where it's less hot. Okay, no more desert island. Run! Okay, so much fun. Uh, Lucifer, let's go. Come on. I didn't do the cool thing last time. So if I can do it, that's better. Come here. And as you round the, this corner, which, hello, there's a beach over there, I really need a kayak too. But besides that, as you round the corner, we've got also an island I need. This little cove here. And that's kind of where, nearby where our RV is. And Lawson's landing. So we're gonna walk on this side for a little bit. And uh, find some water for Lucifer. He's thirsty. So calm right here. I just love the natural features of oceanside areas. <sighs> Amazing. Yes. Oh, look at the boat. I love boats. Oh, look at my dog peeing. I love dogs. Pretty family friendly, friendly. I would say very actually. Right up next to the water, you got some boats and of course RVs and what have you. There's these dunes that you can basically climb up at any point to get to the other side, which is the water. And our little bumper. Bumper! All right, I'm, I'm gonna head over to my husband. I found my teenagers. They're up on the dunes coming home. Man, we just all get here at the same time. Ha, huh, beach life. Our campsite is, uh, let's just say, a little cooler than the one next to us. So, so the one next to us, they've got their wood pit. They've got their table. Um, and basically, you stay within these lines. So they've got between that and that. So that's their spot. Ours has all of that, and yet it goes back much further. Oh, don't mind that. That's just my husband making something delicious. But look, okay, so it goes back much further. There's a lot more space here for, I don't know, whatever you wanted to. Uh, there is a path to the beach that is actually not as hot as the ones adjacent to it. There's this fabulous tree which has birds that torment my dog and I love it. And uh, this, well this hammock is actually ours so it doesn't come with a hammock but it comes with a place to put a hammock 
And uh, again, it's a pretty good spot for, you know, still doesn't have electricity and this one does not have water, but you can fill up elsewhere. So we're 531 here. Wait, 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 wait. Stay. On this, our last day here at Lawson's Landing in Tomales, California. I, though I've been having some muscle issues lately, have decided that I was going to go kayaking no matter what this morning. I woke up a grumpy husband. He drove me out to do it. And I had about 10 minutes of kayaking and turned back. Here's why. I enjoyed it, but there's a lot of boats around here right now, which I'm a liar because now I don't see any, but lots of fishing going on around here. And uh, because of that, there's crazy wake. Plus there's some tide going on. And so therefore, overall not placid, not easy to paddle, especially when one has a dog that doesn't really want to be there, but wants to huddle on your lap. And you already have muscle. Anyway, point being that I stopped kayaking. That's okay, because here's the other reason I had to come back. The teenagers are going to go on their very first paddleboard slash kayaking trip in these conditions. I, part of me wants to warn them off, but part of me is like, hijinks will ensue and I could get it on video and like, you know, so we're all, I think it's a better idea. So yeah, I'm waiting for the teenagers. Once the teenagers get here, uh, hijinks will ensue. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. I swear there's something otherworldly about being able to wake up and be at the beach. The Jurassic Park, which has nothing to do with beaches. Is better. No, I, I teach you. I no, okay. I I no, I teach you you live. I don't teach you you die. I told my video people earlier that hijinks were going to ensue when the teenagers got on. <laughs> I feel like Darby is so determined. I feel I feel good about this. Yeah. <laughs> That's because you're pulling Luna. <laughs> Did you say you feel like a salmon? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Can I leave you? <laughs> okay, what, if I leave, will I ever see you again? Okay, cool. Bye. love this. All right, Lucifer wants to go find Daddy, though. We have to go break down camp, which is so much easier when they're not a bunch of slides. Slides. What? What? What is up with this gargantuan bird? Look, it is the king of the rest of the birds. You know, they say that little birds like that that attack big birds while they fly. Yeah. They're not doing it to defend an area so much as to show off to other female birds that they're that amazing and you should you know, definitely mate with them because they're willing to take on a big bird. I agree. Podcasts are awesome. Because mimosas, always. But uh, this place has everything you need if you're a fisher or a boater or a crabber. Oh. Hi. So it's pretty cute. Looks like they also have little local things as well. I like it. Oh! Oh, 
Yeah, well, I'm leaving. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Say goodbye.